going on guys welcome back to the channel we are back up here in wichita falls because if you keep up with instagram you notice we had a little bit of a call an incident yeah we had an incident with can't get right race on no prep race to jj's arm drop made it to was it in the semis in the semis oh, yeah, we, that's when the incident happened. yeah it was in the semis we're on the way to the finals i mean actually the race the race was already won but unfortunately can't get right got left <laughs> <laughs> it went hard left We'll put the video in right here. As you can see, we uh, tore the car up pretty bad. Actually, you came out pretty fortunate compared to what he did. A little yeah. bit better than him, unfortunately. But I guess luckily we both walked away. More right. Quickly, so. Yeah, he did get somewhat injured, but for the most part, yeah, his car is, is a complete and total loss. I mean, it sucks, but... I don't, I don't know what's the worst part to be in knowing you contributed to somebody else's destruction and you're actually half pants okay, or...? Right. <laughs> well, it ain't okay. We'll uh, <laughs> yeah. walk over here and take a closer look at it. I mean, you saw on the, the little cinematic stuff, but we are, we are definitely uh, crunched all the way down, all the way down the front. I mean, it didn't do anything up underneath inside, did it? I mean, as no. far as it's got the bumper, got the... Yeah, then right here in the frame a little bit. Uh, uh, let's see if we can actually look. come up or sit down. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Here, here. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, this is probably the worst spot of it, really. And just one yeah. little wrinkle, straighten that out. The towers here got moved out just a little bit, but uh, we're going to... We say motor plate just got a little bit of a bow to it. Yeah. But I mean, I think that could be straightened out pretty easy. Yeah. Looks like it almost came out. Just did y'all loosen these? Yeah. Yeah. Just it was out. worse than that. It's been straightening ever since we loosened it up. So, but <laughs> 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 yeah. It, Trying to find positive light. Positive all you can, man. I mean, you've already found what? You've already found. Yeah, we we have everything we we need to put back together. Just now, it's just finding the time to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, inside all this caging part's still good. Everything in the back, I mean, back here, I know it looks nasty. It looks yeah. pretty beat up, but probably just gonna have to cut the quarter mm -hmm. right around in here and replace the quarter out. But he's already found a quarter. We've already found a door. We've already found a fender. Yeah. I mean, everything to put the car back together. Oh, yeah. You know, fortunately enough, yeah. you know, I mean, there was some good fortune out of it as far as how to pay for it, so. Yeah, JJ did this right. He, he uh, he split the ten thousand dollars between me and George, and um, I mean that definitely helps. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean it definitely pay for parts. I mean it's still the time out and not going racing and stuff like that. But it didn't get into the turbo too bad. Mm -hmm. Didn't get into the motor. Drive shame seems to be okay. Yeah. Uh, it's just this rear quarter door, front fender, bumper, grill, headlight. I mean everything on the left side of the car is total. I mean yeah. you can see in the wreck. I mean if you want to watch a better video, um, go check out our buddy NX Gonzo video. He's got a video from the starting line. Where you can actually see everything if you want to see carnage i mean you, you see what it is not that we're promoting you know look at big wrecks but i know you guys always want to see the wreck and see what happened but right. it's a little more in detailed video any show stuff afterwards walking around the car i actually yeah. wasn't fortunate enough to be at that race we were going to come race i can't remember why we didn't come down what were we doing it was cold well <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i can't remember That's why we weren't down oh, oh. oh my converter was out of the car because yeah. we were going to actually go down to race uh the picnic well, and, I, and also, we were, I wasn't feeling too good the whole week, and I had told you guys I wasn't in for sure if we yeah, were Yeah, you decided that day. Like, literally, yeah, we were kind of up in the air. Um, I just had not been feeling good, of course, with everything going on. I just tried to be precautious, and uh, uh, I don't know, I got to talking to Kyle Buckmaster, I think it was Thursday, and they said they were going to go drop the car off. And I don't know, when I talked to him, it kind of motivated me. I was like, man, we'll, we'll just go drop the car off. And uh, so we left it Thursday night, and, and really, you know, honestly, till about 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock Friday, that's kind of when we were like, all right, we're here, we're paid, let's just do this. So, just race it. Yeah, but we were doing pretty good until... Until uh, you didn't? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know, guys, y'all talk about, I mean, no prep, you're going to get into this kind of situation. We get it, we take the risk. We take the risk on the prep track. But there was no reason to believe during this race that this was going to happen, because the track was great all yeah. that long i mean that already made yeah. four rounds this was like i said this was in the semis going to the finals oh, yeah. so it wasn't like they had any problems all night long they were running more boost than they ever had yeah. they were hitting it harder than they ever had so as far as the track conditions 
that wasn't the issue. It wasn't because of no prep. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, people are gonna, you know, knock in the comments about you shouldn't be racing that kind of stuff. That had really nothing to do with it. We've had worse, yeah. I would say incidents, but we've had worse right. close calls on prep tracks than we have running that track. So, yeah. that definitely wasn't it. Yeah, it just, like I said, it's just kind of hard to say. I mean, that shit happens so fast and, I mean, <laughs> Of course, I don't know, like I said, you can't really point it. I mean, there is indications that maybe when, because th that would have to say, and it's on a no prep track, that that night, that was probably, even though they were, weren't showing times or we weren't getting packed for six, but we had a drag in the car and um, the, the air was like negative 140. I mean, the air was great. Of course, if you know turbo cars, you know, that's a good thing. And I would have to say with 100% confidence that that night we were probably 60 foot in this car had ever, ever seen. And I don't know that that when we wrecked, I don't know that we didn't break a, uh, an anti-row bar when we left. Um, I know when I let go of the brake and we took off, I was like, that was probably one of the fastest 330s right. we ever felt in the car. So uh, you just can't say, like I said, ultimately at the end of the day, I'm just glad he's okay. We're both okay. Um, man, that, that crap happened so fast. I don't care if you've been racing your whole life. There just comes a point in time when you're over 150 miles an hour going the way you ain't supposed to. You just want to save your own life. And Pucker up and hold on. Pretty much. So, uh, luckily though, um, what's strange is we met George actually in Amarillo like a month before that and um, didn't even know who he was. Was a big fan of his car. We were racing in Amarillo and um, man, it's kind of weird how we met him. Never met the guy in our life and, and we were talking before that race and uh, it's kind of a weird deal that um, that we ended up running into each other because we were kind of bumping. Yeah, family. literally. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a weird deal. I know it's kind of a superstitious deal, I guess you would say, but if you guys watch the video, I mean, there's a good probability if he don't hit me that, you know, I'm the one in severe, you know. Yeah, you're the one rolling because yeah, you were going straight into the wall. And we can curl in here and look. Yeah. See if we can get a look at this anti-roll. Can you see up in here? Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see the anti-roll. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's broke. I mean, yeah, and broke. it's broke on the actual, oh, yeah. on the bar. It's like it broke in half. I don't know. I don't know. If it it's hard to tell if that did that. It's just weird, man. Except the whole night, you know, we were making really solid fast passes. Arguably just faster, maybe faster than we've ever been even on a prep deal. And it's really weird that it just did that. It's kind of hard to say. I yeah. Mean, all night we were going pretty straight. I mean, like I said, we're, we test on these tires. We know these tires. I've heard people make smart aleck comments about a radio. I mean, uh, I don't know, I said, we were doing pretty well with them, so. Uh, yeah, you weren't kind of, just winning, I mean, you were gapping. Oh yeah. Gapping oh, yeah. people. It was, like I said, and uh, of course, like I said, the air was good that night, we had some things going our way, but I don't think it was because of the tire. As a matter of fact, um, I can make sure that there's another video talking about putting an emphasis on bead locks, man. <laughs> If, if you're doing any kind of racing like this, man, you gotta get some bead lock. I can't tell you, that probably saved my life too. I don't know, I'll, I'll, we'll get a video on here, but man, it literally, I got the tire in the back. It literally ripped the tire about this much here and the bead lock kept it together. If I didn't have bead lock, shit, this thing would have been probably rolling a hundred times. Yeah, so anyway, like I said. Uh, I mean, it is what it is, we always yeah. say that. It's. It's not discouraging to get us back from racing. This isn't anything that's gonna, you know, stop us from from doing anything. But I mean, it's it's an unfortunate deal. But like I said, we got all the parts to put it back together. Yeah. Already in the works of that. You know, maybe a month or so, get this thing back together, get it back out racing. I mean, now's when the air is when we like it, especially for these turbo cars to get out running. Yeah. So, I mean, that's about it, guys. I mean, you, you see the damage, you see the carnage, but we're gonna get back together and get back after it. But for right now, guys, a little short video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, we'll catch you guys on the next one.